everyone welcome or welcome back this is nina budgets and i'm your girl nina on today's video we're going to be cash stuffing my wallet some of my high priority seeking funds and then also some savings challenges um, and then we're also going to have just a little bit of conversation this week has been busy um, it's been a very fun fulfilling week and so i'm sure i'm going to be telling a little bit of story time so um let's go ahead and get started so real quick, I'm going to have this prop money here because I do have some prop money that I'm going to be using. Um, I got some bills to pay. And then I also, like I said, I'm going to put a little money in some of my um, sinking funds, but I have prop money for my mortgage. So um, we can go ahead and get that counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 70 and 75 so 775 is going to go toward my mortgage today so this is the prop money that i'm going to be using for that so i'm just going to place that here and then when it's time to put that in the envelope then i will go ahead and add that in i haven't even had a chance to um go through and put my money up so it's still in the bank book like i said it's been a fun week and um yeah today has been super busy as well when i'm recording this this is friday may 24th and so um today has been one crazy day i've had to go pick up a rental car because my car has been acting up so my car is in the shop so i had to pick up a rental car i went and did that at the airport ran into a celebrity who's going to be in town this weekend to do um, to do a performance at the comedy show. Her name is B. Simone. Hey, B. Um, so if any of you all know her, shout her out. Um, but yeah, I ran into her, had to do a quick FaceTime with my daughter so that she could see um, that I ran into her. Um, we love her. Um, so yeah, we're going to just go ahead and get started because it's pay week. It's payday. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take the money out. Grab my calculator. I'm gonna put a little bit of sort quick on because I know I'm gonna need that to count this money. And I also have my money planned out. I did type it out um, just so that I can, you know, keep track. And I think that um, I have all my bills in order and my binder as well, um, so that it won't be too out of whack when I'm going through here. Um, adding you know the, the the money but um yeah i'm just going to keep this kind of off to the side so that i can remember what denominations that i was putting where um when i put my money in the binder so all right let's go ahead and get started All right, we got twenty two ten. So let's go ahead and get started with my wallet and then we'll move into paying some bills. Um, I have a bunch of receipts that I definitely have to scan into my Fetch Rewards. So if you are not a Fetch Rewards member and do not know about Fetch Rewards, I'm going to give you just a little bit of game right now. 
fetch rewards, save all your receipts, scan those in, and then those, the money that you have spent turns into points. Um, sometimes it's, you know, depending on what you buy, you might get, you know, a thousand points. Sometimes it's 25 points, but um, these, these receipts turn into gift cards and um, you can use those gift cards for whatever you want to use them for, but I'm going to leave my code in um, the video and also I'll leave it in the description box. Um, but definitely get those receipts and download the app and use my code and you can get double the points. I did get a notification the other day that um, for anyone who uses my referral, they will get double points and I will get double points. Um, so, I mean, it's a win-win, so you can't lose there. So we do have some money left over in groceries. Um, we have 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to roll the 60 over and we're going to put this $3 to the side. That's going to go into our $1 and $5 savings box. And in gas, we have 20, 40, 50. This is going to be rolled over as well because I have to unstuff money for gas. Um, I did use my credit card for that because I get reward points for gas. So um, I use my credit card for gas and groceries, things like that, um, so I can get the reward points. So I'm going to leave that there. And then in my personal spending, we have 10. I only started out with 20, but I did have some money that was given to me. So I've been using that through the week. Um, so that's why I have all this money here. So we got 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So I am going to, I have $32. So I'm going to take these fives and these ones. Actually, okay, so this is going to go in the one and five dollar savings box. Thirteen, I'm going to put these thirteen ones in here, and then this is twenty dollars that I'm going to keep in my spending. Like I said, part of it was from where I got gifted some money. Um, so I didn't want to just keep it included in there, but I, as you can see, I did. Um, CJ spending, he had $5, he has nothing now. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some money in here real quick. Um, for groceries, like I said, we're rolling this money over. So we have $60 in here. So we're gonna do 140, so we're gonna do 250s. And then two twenties, and that'll give us our two hundred for the week. I'm definitely going to be gauging this out because you would think that with my son being home from school, we would spend more money on groceries. But with him being home from school, we actually would probably spend less because I do cook throughout the week. Um, so we have leftovers and things like that. So he will definitely be eating on that. And then also, you know, the little knickknack stuff they like, the snacks and stuff. So I'm going to be gauging on what I'm going to be needing to add in for groceries while school is out. So groceries has should have 200. So 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. So yeah, we'll kind of gauge that. Um, I will say that I did use some of the money from grocery when we went out to eat this week um, as a tip. So I, I had leftover money. So I'm really going to be gauging that because this week he didn't take his lunch to school because they had like a barbecue day and then they had a pizza day and all that. And then, um, so we didn't have to really pack a lunch this week for school that hardly that much for him. So I'm definitely going to be gauging this for the summer to see kind of what that's going to be looking like. Guess we're going to stick with $100. Um, and let me just check my denominations. Yeah, I did four twenties. And then two tens. Yeah, my truck is in the shop. That's 100. My truck is in the shop. And um, so I'm renting a car right now. So right now that tank is full. 
I do have to return it with a full tank of gas. So I would just kind of keep holding the money from from gas in here until I'm done with that. And then I'll unstuff everything that I need to. And then whatever's left over, I'll roll that into something. So gas should have 150. Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then for my personal spending, I'm going to go ahead and give myself $20 this week. Um, I'm going to do a 10 and two fives. All right, and I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I thought I had five ones in here. Apparently not. I'll just leave it. All right. And then for CJ, he's going to also get $10 for this week. And then I didn't budget anything for eating out. Um, I think I'm going to have some money left over. Um, so I will decide on that afterwards. I feel like I'm going to have a little bit money, like maybe $40, $50. We'll see. So up first is going to be our bills, and that is going to be in the tote binder. My mortgage is getting $775, and we are using prop money for this because I left that money in the bank. So we have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay, up next is going to be my electric, and that is getting 194. That's 194. Up next is going to be Netflix, and it is getting 25 And as I was going through all of my money, I did not see any star notes. So I don't think I got any this go around. All right. And then up next is going to be my home warranty, and it is getting $29. So we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 128. And then up next is going to be Uverse, and it is getting $238. One hundred, two hundred, twenty, thirty five, six, seven, eight. And that is going to be it for my bills binder. Up next, we're going to go ahead and move into my high priority binder. And we're going to be putting, let's see, we're only going to be doing a couple of envelopes in here this week. Um, so in savings, we're going to be doing 500 and I'm going to do that all in 50s. Um, my mom gave my husband and I money for our anniversary. Um, and so we decided to just put that money in our savings. So it's going to be 500. $1,000, 
So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. We didn't know what we necessarily wanted to do with it. So we were like, in the meantime, we'll just put it in our savings um, and figure out if we want to buy ourselves something or, you know, what we want to do. But until we can figure out what we want to do, we're just going to throw it in the bank. So um, savings noun has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 50, 70, 90, 11, 10, 15, 20, 11, 25. So savings noun has 11, 25. And as you all know, I have these old $100 bills that I just do not want to put in the bank. Um, I definitely could put a placeholder in here. Um, I do not want to put that in the bank. I just like them because they're old and I don't want to get rid of them. So we'll see. I'll figure out something. Um, hopefully I'll be able to replace them or something like that. Okay, so emergency fund is going to get 25. All right, and we have 1,000 in the bank. 1100, 1150, 1170, 90, 1210, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we now have 1250 in our emergency fund. And then up next, we're going to add money to car maintenance. And so for car maintenance, we're going to do $50. And then my son received money from graduation and we're gonna put that in his savings. I'm trying to remember what I did with it. So 50, 70, 80, $90 in car maintenance. I was so tired from yesterday after graduation that I can't even remember what I did last night, okay? So we'll figure that out. Up next is CJ's Hobbies, and that is going to be getting $100. Yeah, he got like over $200. And I'm going to, and I'm doing this savings challenge that I created for his basketball. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make each icon $50. Um, and then I'll go ahead and color in two for today. Each icon 50. And then okay. So CJ noun has 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he has 205 in here. In here for his hobbies. And that is going to be it. And what I need to do is I need to take money out of my wallet to add in here into groceries because I like to keep some put up to the side for my husband in case he goes to the store um, and I'm not home. So I'll take. I'll keep 140 in my wallet and I'll put $60 in there. We stay busy, so it's always something going on. So if he ever needs to hop in there, he can hop in there and grab him some money. All right, up next is going to be my favorite binder, which is the savings challenges and this thing is getting thick, like me. Um, and I definitely need to do some condensing. So I'm going to do some bill exchanges, I guess, is what I'm going to end up doing. Because this is getting to be a little bit much. Um, so in our 500 savings challenge today, we are going to be doing $60. So that's just going to be a 50 and a 10. 
And this month is a magic month for my husband. So he ha- there's an extra Friday in May. So he gets an extra week of pay. So we'll complete this next week. I'm going to color in these two $30 here. And then we only have 65 left next week for the $500 savings challenge. And then this will be completed. So we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 50, 70, 90, 410, 20, 30, 435. Up next is going to be Starlight, Star Bright, and it is going to get $20. This is a freebie that I downloaded from Mystic Budgets. Um, go check out her channel and then also subscribe and download you the freebie. You get a couple of different freebies on there, so um, this was one of them. All right, so I made my big stars $20 and all of the smaller stars were $1. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49. And I have yet to figure out what I want this money to go towards. I don't even know. I just started saving it and then didn't even think about it until recently. Like, what am I going to put this money towards? Like this money and the melanin challenge, I just started them and did not decide on what I wanted them to go um, towards. So hopefully I'll figure that out by the time I'm done. So um, up next is gonna be the melanin challenge and it is getting $45. And this is one that I ordered from SNC um, Budget Creations. I will link their channel down as well. Um, I got this from the bank and I absolutely love this pen. It writes really well. Okay, so we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, 10, 25, 35. So 235 already saved. And I'm going to go ahead and scratch off next week's. And I forgot to put my change inside of there. Um, so I'll do that afterwards. Um, let's just go here. All right, next week we're gonna be doing $40. We got 40. And then I will write that down on the postage. And this one is a higher denomination one that I chose. They do also have lower denominations. So this one is, this total is going to be $460. Um, so they do have different denominations um, that you can choose from. So I've already put the 45 in there from last week. And then last but not least, we're going to add money into the 100 envelope savings challenge. And we're going to be doing numbers 70 through 65 and then we're doing numbers 31 to 36 so let's go ahead and get it going
Okay, so we're gonna put this money together. And we should have $606. Let's count that again. 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have our 606 that is going in and I am not going to overly stuff this. I am going to put this money in here and then I'm going to separate the bigger bills from the smaller bills. And then I'll just have a separate um, envelope that I have for these because it's beginning to get a, be a bit much. So I think I'll do the hundreds, fifties, twenties, and tens. Put them on back in here. And then I have another envelope in here I will move that apart and I will put these fives and ones in here And this bad boy is probably not going to close, so I'm not even going to um, force it to do so. I'm just going to pop that thing right over to the side. And then I will be looking at doing a bill exchange. Yep, we're going to put that bad boy to the side. So let's see what we got left. I got 48. I'm going to put those three ones there. Actually, I needed another one for my wallet, so I will take one of these and put it in my wallet. And we have $45 here. So, let's go into here. I'm trying to think, do I have any birthdays coming up? I do have my daughter's birthday in June. So I will put $30 in here for birthdays. And then, we have 15 left. I think I'm going to put this 15 in my wallet for eating out because I have a feeling we will be doing some eating out for sure. My son has a basketball game tonight and so I'll need to have cash. Well, I have cash in my wallet to get in, so that'll be fine. But yeah, I'm going to put this in here for eating out and that will be it. I'm going to add that dollar to my personal spending. Oh, look. And it's a star note. I didn't even see it. I'm not even going to add it. It's going to go into my special money envelope that I have. 
It's in here. Thickness. It's over here with thickness. I'll just add this $1 star note in here to this one. So in my special money, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, uh, 14, 15, 16. I have $116 in what I call special, my special money. And that is my old bills, um, depending on like serial numbers. Like this one has um, nothing but sevens and zeros. Um, just specialty type of things. So yeah, I keep that in here. All right, so let's go ahead and put our $1 bills into our $1 and $5 savings box. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, $18 going in. That's exciting. Let me make sure this isn't shining all in the, in the ring camera. You don't like my nails? These are press-ons. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But they have completely changed the game with those because I have longer nail beds. And so finding press-ons to fit my nail beds has always been hard. But since finding these, they've changed the game. All right. Oh, that looks so good. I am so ready to count this money. I'm ready to count it. It's taking everything in me to not count it. I'm going to be honest. I want to count it so bad. I don't even think I'm going to. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm waiting to the end of the year or what. But I don't know. I want to count it bad. I know that. So anyway, what this is the end of the video. We're, we're done. Everything has been replenished. Money has been distributed. Every, everything has gotten to its home and where it needs to be. I hope everyone has a great day. A great rest of the week or whenever you're watching this um stay safe out there and happy saving everyone bye